And also, I'm still painting this wall over here with red. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Space Riders in space. I'm here about to do this, and gentlemen, I'm gonna show you something bizarre. Something I think may actually find some people interest. Something that looks like a comic book, but it's not exactly a comic book. I know! So many things combined together, like a fine mash. But is it the taste right? Is the flavor right? Or is it gonna taste like a horrible mess? Made by like a five grader or something like that. I don't know, first grader actually, I should say. But anyway, uh, you may wonder what the heck is this thing? Well, that's a good question. This is... I don't know exactly what the heck is thing this thing is supposed to be. Technically speaking, this is a roguelike defense game. Mix it with a bit of a, you know... Uh, commanding, constructing, stuff like that. You're supposed to look for weapons, you're supposed to look for defense, uh, for supplies. Then you have to build up the defenses and will survive the bug apocalypse. Apparently this game had been made by two people and, well, their first project failed. No idea what, the, what was their first project. But I'm looking forward to trying to figure out what in the seven hells is this supposed to be. Oh, that smile, man! Oh, that beautiful smile! Space Riders, in space! I'm sorry, sacrifice. Okay, difficulty, normalish, chapter one. <laughs> I like this thing. It's a bit hard to read where the actual button is, but too easy, normalish. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, let's go with normal for now. Chapter one. I hope you guys are ready. A lone science vessel crosses the blackness of space, following a strange signal. It leads them to a planet. After years in cryosleep, the two sole occupants are awoken as the ship descends. And they are not alone. Heather, get back! Zerx. It always have to be Zerx. <laughs> Mankind's first contact of alien intelligence was not the war the story is all predicted. Two species, different in every way, formed a bond. The hive mind, vast and complacent. The warrior, fighting his own demons. The scientist, discovering new meaning. Together, their differences became strengths. Uh, okay, that's completely... I was not expecting this thing, though. Years passed and alien visitors became a family. A research outpost became a home. Until one day, the hive mind turned on them. What's going on, Andy? We're leaving. That's what. As Andy and Heather retreat to their ship, they see full pods launching into space. The hive mind is on the move. I wonder where they're going. More importantly, why? Uh, because you probably told them how to travel in space, dipshits. They hastily pack their equipment and prepare to enter cryosleep. Andy plots a course back to humanity. Every one of the last seven years weighing on his shoulders. But one tiny stowaway has its own plan. <laughs> Murphy, how did you get on board? Heather, watch out! Andy, you idiot. He's never had a connection to the hive mind. Poor Murph is probably just as confused as we are. Uh, okay. It just hit me. We're never going to see this place again. Aren't you ready to go home? Share this little guy with everyone? I'm not so sure what's home anymore. Two years later. God, I'm glad it wasn't two years for me because I'd probably be dead by then. You know, it felt like just yesterday I was a teenager. Time flies so... Oh, sorry. We're about 50 kilo clicks out, but I can't seem to get anyone to respond. Should I make us some more coffee? Two hours later, nobody's answering the radio, so I'm just going to bring us down. They won't fire on us. Probably. Uh huh. Let me guess. The hive mind have already destroyed the entirety of the human humanity because apparently organic cryopods, or I don't know, drop pods, travel faster than the ship. Where is everyone? Your team is talking. You can click on the speech bubble to automatically advance the conversation. Okay. What's going on? An enemy approaches. Crap! <laughs> I'm supposed to do something? Cover, click on the uh, click on Heather and then select uh, the chicken icon to cover her stance, to change her stance to cover. In this stance, she will flee to a cover point and stop attacking. 
Right, woman. Run. You can't just shoot them. They're not giving me much of a choice. <sighs> Click on Andy and select the switch weapon icon to equip the melee weapon. Melee weapons can hit multiple enemies and most importantly can parry incoming attacks. Wow. It's a bloodbath. This guy is really good at his job, you know. What the f seven fox is that supposed to be? Okay, how about you? Some bugs have range attacks. Switch back to range weapon. Why is this thing morphing? What is this? Damn, my gun just broke. And it was my favorite. Okay, Andy gun just broke. So now he must use his melee weapon. Unfortunately, the enemy is out of range. Click on Andy and then select the knife and gun icon. Okay. Go! Attack! <laughs> Go for his eyes! He has multiple! Good! We have multiple things to hit. Is it done? Look around. We need to find some weapons. Okay, check the containers. Something's over here. In addition to enjoy orders, you can issue orders to everyone at once. Select everyone. Uh, select the everyone search button. When you're searching, they will stop attacking and run to the point of interest to search for weapons and materials. More points open up after each wave. Great! <laughs> wow! There are more <laughs> more incoming from that point. Okay, this is this is an interesting thing. I like the comic vibe though. Finding any weapon or clicking on a weapon on the ground will bring uh, up its card. Click on the equip the button below. Change which character to give the weapon uh, by clicking the tabs. What tabs? Tabs? <laughs> you mean the tabs button? Oh, and oh, those things. Okay, give it to Andy. Uh, click the equipped button again to assign this weapon to this character. Nice. Okay, would you consider maybe to heal yourself? You know, because you're kind of dead. Planning mode. Uh, that's a sniper rifle. Okay, so equipped. And give it to her, I guess. You know, we need, we need some type of a backup over here. I cannot bring it on. We're ready. For no, we're not, boys. <laughs> no, I'm not ready. We need to heal. Uh, okay. Hold on. Can I pause the game? No, I can't. Uh, I want you to. At the start of every wave, it's a good idea to set up your riders to defend. Everyone, defend! Do. <laughs> That guy learned how to go into space program Mark II. Holy shit, this weapon's good. Can I keep it? Oh my god. <laughs> he became one with the wall. <laughs> oh no, Andy is hurt. Click on Andy and then select the heal button. You will consume one foot and give yourself four hit points. Sure. I bet that going at, I don't know, McDonald's or something like that and actually trying to eat a burger, you know, like a... Juicy, full of fat and full of god knows what else. Substances. Burger actually is gonna be healthy for you. I bet that works that way. There's a lot of aliens! <laughs> They're all flying! <laughs> I'm gonna paint this planet red! It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be my masterpiece. You guys done? Holy shit. Oh my... What the fuck was that supposed to be? Okay. I... I... I shot them. I don't know what's happening, but we have to leave. You're back on the ship. Good job, boys! Mission accomplished! Heather and Andy swiftly returned to their ship, reluctant to fight their former friends. I don't understand what's happening here. Why are they so angry? They're definitely not friendly anymore. We need to get off world now. I never wanted to be your enemy. Safely back in space, our intrepid heroes plan their next move. We need to get to Settle HQ. They'll know what's going on. We don't have the fuel to make it in one jump. Gotta make a pit stop at Ares on the way. Okay. If they already managed to re reach... Okay, wait, Ares is not Mars. <laughs> Arriving on Ares, they are stunned at the destruction that has taken place. This place looks like it's been through hell. A disturbing sight greets their eyes. Walls covered with propaganda promoting ominous, totalitarian ideals. Humanity had taken a dark turn in the last nine years. This can't be good. Why not? What's so bad in tyranny and dictatorship? 
along the, uh, the ground, you will notice weekly shadow lines. Those are a rough prediction of the path the incoming bugs will take through the maze of defenses. We need to figure out what's going on. The hive mind will be here any minute. Okay, well... Damn it. We're too exposed. We can piece together some cover using the scrap that's lying around. Yeah, that's a good idea. A wall. Let's build some. We have found your first blueprint. Click on the blueprints button to open up to what you, list of what you can build. Can I build myself McDonald's? I wonder exactly how the heck I'm supposed to build anything. Oh wait, everyone built. Click on the blueprints. Oh, that thing. Click on the blueprint and place on the map. Uh, once placed it, the rider will run over and start constructing. It won't function until the rider has completely finished building. Okay, good to know. Can I build it like in the middle of the passage? Place, rotate. Oh! Well, this is an interesting concept. Yay! Can I actually get myself some more walls and stuff like that? Probably, eventually. Uh, okay, so one of uh, the, the, the attacks are gonna go this way, so let's try to make another wall somewhere over here, maybe? Or maybe. No, actually, just let's build it behind, you know? Like over here. There you go. Look at this thing. Magnificent! Okay. Uh, I don't know how many I have to build. Right, my guys go there, and now they're gonna... <laughs> oh, look, I got a little Tesla tower over here. How nice! Wait, there is actually a Tesla tower! <laughs> I thought this is a decoration. No, this is an actual defense building. Okay, bolts. Right, those guys are still searching for, for items. Just don't destroy any protection, you know? Oh, tier 2 weaponry! Well, 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 well! Equip it, and... Andy, you're gonna take it, big boy. Let's see. Is it actually better? Mm, no, it's not, because I got tier 3 and I had to have a sniper rifle. Okay, now let's scrap it! Ah, I've scrapped it and I got some junk out of it. That's nice. Okay, so we got 20 seconds. So how is this guy's day? Huh? Mine? Good, good, good. They are having probably a terrible day right now because, you know, they have to defend themselves against incoming waves of, of Zergs or whatever that thing is. So, you know, th probably they, they are not very happy about this entire situation. Also, I wonder, can I eventually... Okay. Also, I wonder, can I eventually change the position where they're gonna be standing, so... We'll see! And, of course, the bugs are coming through the one protection line that I have over here. I have no idea what she's seen, but apparently she's now painting the floor red. <laughs> nice! Keep killing it, boys! Keep killing it! Alright! I really hope that you guys have a big screen now, because this is about to get painted in blood. It's gonna be awesome. Also, I don't know why the Cessna turret is burning. It's kinda terrifying if you forget about that. Six more enemies incoming! Three more enemies incoming! Never mind! Oh shit. <laughs> like, gravity is not a thing on this planet, apparently. <laughs> m m m multi kill <laughs> Oh, oh kill cam. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, I could kill cam. Always welcomed. Okay. Maybe we can find something to help us. Some more guns would be great. But whatever we can get. Try to search. Click on the flaming turret to bring up the info card. Look at the HP. Uh, HP. The turret is fucked. Click on the repair button. Repair it! By magical touching it. Okay, can we get potentially like a, you know, like a new... Uh... Uh, like a new... how to put it? Ooh, tier 3, what is this thing? Is that supposed to be a shovel? Oh, it's a hammer. Okay, sure, equip it with Andy. And equip it over here. Uh, equip. Yay! That's a gigantic dwarven hammer. Okay, uh, I want you to build... Let's see, can I actually potentially build more barricades? Like one over here. And I really want to build... We want to build like one over here. Yeah, probably. Let's build one here. Let's build another one here. I think that should be enough, right? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how that thing is gonna go. Right, my guys are building. Yeah, look at it. So there's one. How many waves are coming? They're go they're technically coming from four different spaces. How nice. So. The, if I'm gonna make a maze, they're gonna actually try to look for the weakest spots in my defense. See? Because they're going around this wall. For them, it's technically 
uh, faster to go around it than to destroy it. So that means we could try to build an interesting maze around here. Okay, Heather, you have a bullshit weapon. Equip the new one. Thank you. This is progressing, ladies and gentlemen. This is progress. Okay, incoming in seven. Good, Don't let's prepare. They're coming. Sure thing, boss. Yeah, you need to hide, and you need to hide now. Good job. <laughs> just don't start on the defenses, you know, just in case. Here we go! You can start shooting. Uh, guys, attack! No, 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 defend, defend, everybody defend, please. Why are you using the metal weapons? No, me use the, uh... Okay, hold on a second. Switch, switch the weapon. Switch the weapon. Defend! Get back! And use the guns! Thank you! <laughs> I don't know what you guys try to achieve over there, but trying to go through this thing with better weapons. I mean, I approve the idea, but the execution was terrible, actually. Also, still painting the floor red. <laughs> Come at me. Oh, whoa, okay, that was quick. Holy shit. I can't keep this up much longer. Okay, you guys can go back to searching. I need something to slow them down. It won't slow them down, but this will hurt them a bit. Okay, we need this. What you found? What did you found? Blueprints. Oh! Well, this is nice. So one here. Oh, I'm gonna build a proper defense over here. I'm gonna build a proper line of defenses. Hell yeah! <laughs> come on, come everybody! <laughs> I have a lot of things for you to see. I got a lot of new exciting feelings I want you to experience. Apparently Heather is a great builder but a terrible fighter and the Andy, Andy is a great fighter but terrible builder. It took him ages to build one of those while she managed to build three of those at the same time. Andy, I'm not saying much man, but you are terrible at handiwork, you know? I'm, I'm guessing hand jobs by you are just, just terrible. Okay, scrap this thing for now. What did those resources carry up with me through, like, through the missions? You know, we can try to cheese the game, maybe. Get some resources. Here they come, boys! Ah, shit. Okay, let's see how my little spikes are gonna work. I'm waiting. Give me your worst. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this week is already bleeding. Are you on your prayer right? Never mind, you're dead. You know, I'm not terrifying of those things. Because they bleed once a month and they actually die. You know, just pointing it out really quick. Yeah, let them go to the spikes! Then damage. Yeah. I mean, it's probably gonna kill the smaller ones with not much of a problem. <laughs> this position with a shotgun is just terrifying. He's getting so much experience points from this thing. <laughs> there's a wall over here. I bet like over here be behind this destroyed car, there's a wall. And that wall right now is covered in trophies. My trophies! This is great. This is awesome. Yeah, kill cam. Yeah, good job, boys. Good job. You can tap yourselves on the shoulder. You did it! Okay, more cat. Oh. Wow, the map is expanding. Hey, there's a pop nearby. We can actually go in there and get ourselves drunk. How nice. Uh, right, I'm potentially gonna need some more defenses, I think. Okay, let's try to... Can I... Ah, I can sh shift click this thing. How nice! Okay, close this. Bring me up those. No, 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 I want you to focus on searching. And she's gonna do... See? See? See how good she is at building? She is really good at building. Holy shit, man. Nice. Nice. Oh, you found a weapon. Uh, let's see, I want to equip this thing. Nah, you got a sniper rifle. You're good with the sniper rifle, so we're gonna keep it as it is. At least for now. Is that a survivor? Sure is. And he's got a crowd chasing him. Let's give him some cover. Hey, he's running. He's running harder, Jimmy. Oh, great. How are you guys? Yeah, we are just fucking fantastic, man. How about you're gonna crawl with the darkest and wait over there, huh? <laughs> As I was referring to the wall over here. Bye. Okay, well, this thing is still alive. That's a surprise. Bye. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. My dearest Jimmy. Clinking on the character. Yeah, uh, we definitely, definitely need to give you... Some type of a weapon, you know? And also I need to, like, do some maintenance around my base because my base right now is burning! And also I'm still painting this wall over here with red. <laughs> this is great. 
<laughs> my fucking glove paint jobs, man. Why are you destroying my barricade? Hey, dude, dude, not cool, not cool. Why are you destroying my barricade? Bro, they really don't like us. That's uh, a close one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just so you know, they don't like you. They used to love me. Okay, who are you? Thanks, bro. I thought those monsters were gonna kill me. <laughs> they aren't monsters. Not on my watch. What's your name, kid? And what the hell is going on here? I'm Jimmy, bro. And it all started when the evacuation sirens went off. I booked it for the shuttles, like everyone else. But I was wicked hungry, and the Galaxy Noodle was open. Bro, it was so good. Then I kind of passed out. When I woke up, everyone was gone. Then those things came. I saw you guys land. So, from all of our available survivors on this planet, outpost, station, whatever thing, air quotes, we got the drug addict slash idiot slash local clown. Yay! That was less than helpful. Yeah, I get that a lot. Can I hit a ride, bros? Sure, but we're not going anywhere until we refuel. Heather rigs up a nearby pleasure yacht to siphon fuel into their plucky little transport whilst Andy stands guard. This is gonna take a minute. Or ten. Then we need to find a place to hole up in case we have more company. Bros, the best bar in the galaxy is right over there! Jimmy gestures towards a loose pile of plasty wood and crass dreams with a flickering neon sign boldly declaring bar. Oh yeah, sure, it's an open bar and I'm on the main menu. Good idea, Jimmy. Oh crap, okay, I bet he were continuing. <laughs> it's fully stocked. Score! This actually seems defensible. Good job, kid. Yeah, I like how they just, you know, did... Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? I like how they don't appear out of nowhere. They actually, like, you know, get to the map, get to the proper defense zone. You have seen. Now, you must act. Yeah, well, that's, that's, that's ominous. Licor. No idea who this guy is, but he looks fucking terrifying. Drive safe! Yeah, especially if you're gonna drink that fucking space fuel that we have in the in the beer. What? Nothing. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been the beginning of Space Riders in space. I'm looking forward to the game. I like the I like the theme. I like the art. Uh you know there's there is something weird about this. I actually wonder how the story is gonna develop. And well, as we all know, uh as we learned actually in the beginning, the developers have already failed at one game, and this one shows promises. So, congrats developers, you've managed actually to do something playable. They didn't crash yet. <laughs> so, you know, I should probably clap for you. And, well, I will try to see how this thing is gonna progress in the future episodes. If you want to try it yourself, link in the description below as always, so go ahead, give it a try, let me know what you think. And for now, though, ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna leave this thing us over here and we're gonna try to continue probably doing the future episodes thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoy the episode please a lot i'll see you all in the next video